Hello, welcome back. I'm Statman Dave. Today, we're going to be taking a look at who is Jeremy Fringpong. Remember to subscribe if you're new, smash the like button, of course, check out SofaScore. Let's get this party started. Born in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, on the 10th of December 2000, Jeremy Fringpong is an under-21 Dutch international who plays for Bayer Leverkusen. Having moved to England at the age of seven, Fringpong was snapped up by Man City's youth setup in 2010. After working his way through the ranks, Fringpong never got a chance to play for the senior side, instead moving to Celtic at just 18 years old for an initial £300,000. Three weeks later, Fringpong made his professional debut in the Scottish League Cup against Partick Thistle and picked up the Man of the Match award. Despite his debut season being cut short by the pandemic, Fringpong was voted as Celtic's Young Player of the season. Another impressive six-month spell in Glasgow brought a move to Bayer Leverkusen. And whilst he spent the rest of 2021 season adapting to the team, Fringpong became the first choice at the start of the 2021-22 Bundesliga season. In 135 professional appearances, Jeremy Fringpong has been directly involved in 39 goals, but where does he play? A dynamic footballer, Jeremy Frimpong has had his best success as an attacking wing-back. With experience in a traditional back four and a more offensive role in a back three. Fringpong also played at left back in Manchester City's youth teams. The 22 year old appears to be comfortable in each position. In terms of his skill set, Fringpong is extremely quick with lightning acceleration. He's also very agile, has a low center of gravity, and is technically very strong, which is showcased by his first touch, dribbling style, and passing technique. What's more is that Fringpong is tactically very intelligent, an aggressive front-footed defender. He's very much in the mould of Hakimi and Alfonso Davies, lightning fast but fairly lightweight wingbacks who do their best work in the opposition's half. For Leverkusen, Fringpong is quite safe in the build-up, usually preferring to retain possession with short passing. Whilst he can play progressive passes, most of the progression comes through his ball carries and combination play. In particular, Fringpong likes to link with forwards ahead of him using one-twos, which allows him to add real thrust into possession. Fringpong's proficiency in this is highlighted by the fact that 22-year-old ranks in the top 1% of fullbacks across Europe's top five leagues for progressive carries, carries into the final third, as well as carries into the penalty area. His dribbling is what really makes Fringpong stand out from the crowd. The Dutchman constantly uses tricks and feints to unbalance his opponent to create an advantage before using his blistering speed to burst past them. He's a real joy to watch. He's got the ability to ghost past players, which leads to very exciting moments. In fact, not only does Fringpong rank first in the Bundesliga for average progressive distance per carry, but he ranks second in the competition for carries that end with an assist. But what's most impressive is that he isn't blinded by dribbling. He'll use a variety of skills to unbalance his opponent. But if he doesn't succeed, Fringpong will simply turn away and recycle possession. This maturity is very impressive and highlights his tactical intelligence. In the final third, Fringpong is often the outlet on the right wing, as he will generally hold the whip for Leverkusen. Because of this, he often receives switches of play and has become very skilled at controlling long passes. What's more, he's also very composed in attacking positions, and whilst he likes to draw past opponents, Fringpong likes to play with his head up and will often link with teammates using one-twos and third-man runs to get in behind. Creatively, Fringpong shines. His 0.22 expected assist per 90 ranks him in the top 6% of fullbacks across Europe's top five leagues. But Fringpong is also a capable goal scorer. He combines his speed with intelligent movement and is a good target for through balls. What's more is that when he does get played through on goal, he doesn't panic. Instead, he steadies himself, slows himself down before calmly picking a corner to place the ball into. His natural attacking ability combined with Leverkusen's wing-back system, where he basically operates as his team's right winger, has resulted in Fringpong being directly involved in more league goals this season than any other defender or wing-back across Europe's top five leagues. Defensively, Fringpong is okay. He's an aggressive defender and often punishes miscontrols or poor touches with pressure. What's more is that his incredible speed can often get him out of trouble if he's bypassed by a winger. But Fringpong is at his best defensively when his team is pressing. His aggressive approach and his raw speed allow him to cover ground quickly, which can see him often force turnovers. His 2.7 tackles per 90 is solid, as is his 73% tackle win rate in the Bundesliga this season. 
Standing at 5 foot 7, Fringpong isn't the tallest fullback and because of this he can be dominated aerially and physically. That being said, he doesn't shy away from battles and Fringpong is a very determined and tenacious player that genuinely seems to rise to meet new challenges. So what's next for the 22 year old? Heavily linked with a move to some of the top clubs in Europe, Fringpong won't be at Leverkusen for much longer. A move to a team like Inter Milan who play a wing back system would allow him to consistently play at a higher level level in European competitions whilst continuing his current development. But whilst he's thrived as a wing back, Fringpong definitely has the ability to play at his best in a back four. Barcelona have been linked with a move to the former Celtic man, but his attacking style would require Xavi to rework his structure, as Barcelona currently use their right back to create a back three in possession whilst the left back is often more offensive. Bayern Munich currently need a new attacking right back and Fring Pong would be cheaper and younger than Jao Cancelo. But the move that makes sense to me is Manchester United. Aaron Wambasaka has improved under Eric Ten Hag, but I don't think he will ever be able to reach the level the former Ajax boss requires in possession. And Aaron Wambasaka could still have a very good career at another club. Signing Fring Pong would give Delo genuine competition at right back whilst providing two very different options. He's tactically intelligent and his upbringing in the Manchester City Youth Academy will stand him in good stead for Ten Hag's style of play. United also lack genuine speed in their team. Whilst there are a lot of quick players at Old Trafford, only Marcus Rashford is terrifyingly fast. And signing Fringpong would add more top tier speed whilst addressing the depth problem in the squad. In fact, Fringpong is so fast, he registered the fifth highest top speed in the Bundesliga this season. What's more is that Fringpong is reportedly keen on a move, having lived in the city for more than 10 years when he was growing up. Moving to Manchester United would require little adaptation. Arguably the hottest attacking fullback on the market, Jeremy Fringpong is a world-class right back waiting to happen. But anyway guys, what do you think? Where do you think Fringpong will play next season? Let me know in the comments below, check out SofaScore, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out some more content on the Statman Dave YouTube channel?